Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. On behalf of the Dental School Grand Rounds Committee, I'd like to welcome you to this afternoon's program. As many of you know, we've started this, or begin to implement this new concept into the curriculum. We hope that this concept offers an opportunity for collegial teaching and learning while encouraging increased student and faculty interaction be beyond the typical classroom setting. The focus is not as much on the specifics of a topic as much as the discovery, thoughtful assessment, and critical thinking that we hope to achieve. What better way for us to celebrate our school's educational mission by embarking on a concept aimed at bringing our students and faculty together in a joint effort to promote teaching and learning. As with any program of this magnitude, many people have been instrumental in bringing it to fruition. Just to name a few, Deb Montague and her, the Office of Continuing Education have provided much needed support for the planning and coordination of today's program. And Dr. Murdoch Kinch and the Office of Academic Affairs have made every effort to communicate the program throughout the school. In addition to the Grand Rounds courses in the curriculum, we plan to have two Mega Grand Rounds programs per year, one in the fall and the second in the winter. I'd also like you to mark your calendars for the fall program titled Restorative Dentistry in a Digital World that is scheduled for the 26th of October. Now that's a Wednesday afternoon to take advantage of the new non-clinic time for the undergraduate clinics uh, starting in the fall. So you won't have to worry about missing clinic in the fall for this program. The program will focus on the status, current evidence, and implementation of computerized systems used in restorative dental treatment. Today's program is state-of-the-art diagnosis and management of oral cancer. Dr. Joseph Hellman, Chair of the Department of Oral and Maxifacial Surgery and Hospital Dentistry, has graciously volunteered on behalf of his department to host this inaugural program. I would like to recognize him and his department for organizing the topic, as well as for arranging for this interesting group of speakers that we have with us here this afternoon. And I invite him to the podium now as the host of today's program. Dr. Hellman. Thank you very much, uh, Dennis. Uh, as a matter of fact, I, I think that the, there are a few things that you don't know. And I think this is the occasion to, to present them to you. A few, uh, a few years ago, Dr. Porverini decided to change the way that dental education is given us, the chairs, the associate deans, the assistant deans, uh, several of the faculty, to participate in this mission. And uh, I have to tell you, there was a lot of resistance, not as much by faculty of the University of Michigan that almost uh, unconditionally the faculty gave support for a new way of teaching. But within dental education, there is a lot of resistance because people are very conservative and sometimes they don't want to move away from whatever it was conventional dental education. The intention of Dr. Paul Verini, the intention of all the faculty, was to implement in each one of you critical thinking pathways that will reach to the maximum of your potential. Try to squeeze every single thought that you have and bring it into success. These mega grand rounds are one of the expressions of what that vision is. So I want to thank Peter for being the architect of the, this new thought, this new view that uh, led, no doubt, to a new way of thinking in what ed dental education should be, incorporating innovation, research, clinical care, and critical thinking. <clears throat> Dr. Polverini uh, was, wow, that's probably one of the students saying, <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, yes. <laughs> I, I will explain to you what critical thinking is later on, OK? Great. Uh, Dr. Paul Verini, Dr. Paul Verini uh, arrived to University of Michigan after he was, uh, he was, he went through his training in oral and maxillofacial pathology at Harvard, where he received as well his doctor, doctorate degree in sciences. Uh, he was faculty at uh, the University of Pittsburgh, Northwestern, and then came to University of Michigan to become first the chief of oral maxillofacial pathology then Chair of Oral Medicine, Oral Pathology, and Oral Surgery, uh, left us to become the Dean at the University of Minnesota, and came back to University of Michigan because, as he said, he felt that the University of Michigan had that research component that allowed him to reach for a new style of dental education and dental excellence. So I have the pleasure to invite Dr. Paul Verini that within his achievements, no doubt, is to address that he got as a recipient of the Distinguished Scientist Award in Oral Medicine and Pathology from the International Association of Dental Research and the Fellow of the American Association for the Advancement of Sciences. He was elected as a member to the Institute of Medicine of the National Academies in 2010. In applause for Dr. Paul Verini, who will be our first speaker. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu slash license.